Good morning everyone, I hope you are all having a wonderful day. It's another Monday and it's my shopping day. Lots of people ask me where do I do my shopping in Bangkok in order to save money and get affordable things and also to find the things that as we foreigners use it and we cannot find it in local market. So today's vlog is about this. So if you are interested to come to Bangkok and make shopping and know about the prices, where are the best places to do your daily shopping or weekly shopping, this vlog is for you. So it will be very interesting vlog. Let's walk and talk. It's around 11 in the morning and as usual, it's very hot here in Bangkok. If you are wondering where am I, as you know, I live in Prakanung area and I'm taking this shortcut, which is Habito. You have a walking bridge. You can access directly to Onnut area to Sukhumvit 77. So this is Bixi, the first market that we are going to enter today and do some shopping. And if you are wondering that this Bixi is located in Onnut area at Sukhumvit 77, it has many branches. So wherever you are in Bangkok, you can check which is the nearest Bixi to you and you can do your shopping there. here we are safe one piece and we are in front this big C extra supermarket that we are going to enter inside and show you why I shop here weekly I do my shoppings usually on Mondays I start from big C let's check our temperature 36.4 once you enter the market you have lots of stalls at the ground floor food clothing so let's enter the main market and start our today's shopping And from the beginning, you can see that you have lots of options in this market. Once you enter, there is the fruit section. But first of all, I'm gonna show you the bread and bakery section. Because here you can find a lot of bread that you cannot find it in regular markets in Bangkok. This is one of the breads that I usually buy weekly and it's only 32 baht. Here we are going to buy some carrots and it's 37 baht for kilogram. You can see from the pictures how fresh and nice are everything here. So we're gonna buy some carrots and continue our today's walk. After the carrots guys, we're gonna buy some potatoes, 55 but for the kilogram we're gonna buy one kilogram of potato only 55 bucks let's buy now watermelon you can buy half watermelon depending on what you need you don't have to buy all the watermelon this watermelon half of it is 67 bucks 60 bucks depending how many kilograms they are so you don't have to buy all the watermelon so if you are one person like me this one is good 28 bucks and 
this is 23 bucks. The pineapples are super cheap in Thailand. Yes, you are in Thailand. Pineapples, coconuts are the cheapest fruits, while apples are not that much cheap. So here you have 29 baht. 29 baht, a one pineapple. Less than one dollar. We're gonna buy. So you can buy a whole pineapple, but if you don't like, you can buy sliced ones like this 35 bucks so you have the option to buy a whole fruit or sliced one this package is 49 baht you have lots of fruits inside passion fruit pineapple the idea is that depending on how many people you are staying here in bangkok you can choose what fits for you but if you want to buy a whole pineapple for 29 baht and slice it enjoy it so it's only 29 baht and you're buying the sliced one for 35 baht only six baht more as i was saying there are some fruits here that are not so cheap because they are imported like this pear 89 baht and you have here taiwan orange also imported for 69 baht per kilogram but look at the quality amazing each one is labeled as if you are buying chocolates as i was saying the apples are so expensive here because most of them they are imported from outside look at the package like a candy they package each one of them these are apples, look at the size of this apple. If you don't like to eat it, you will like the package. So I hope you are enjoying this vlog from this big sea supermarket. And if you are in Bangkok or anywhere in Thailand, you can find big sea and buy all these stuffs with this very affordable prices. Now another thing that in this market you can find lots of food ready you just have to eat them put it in the microwave and ready to eat and as you see the prices 45 baht 37 baht around one dollar even less than one dollar this is 18 baht you have chicken pork rice traditional thai food this is chicken biryani lots of options if you don't want to cook you can buy put it in the microwave and that's it this is the fish section fresh octopus 127 and if you want pack salmon also you have it 172 baht 221 Egg fish 44 baht fish is also cheap in Thailand if you buy it from markets but if you go to the restaurants they are not that much cheap you can see here you have 60 baht but you can eat it at the restaurant a dish of fish in a good restaurant more than 400 baht so if you love cooking you will save lots of money if you do your shopping in these places that I'm showing you now here you have a whole pack of eggs 30 pieces only for 98 baht but if you don't need all of this pack you can find smaller ones and as for myself of course i'm gonna find smaller pack let's buy fresh milk you can see the prices 45 baht and you have condensed and fresh flavored lots of options of milk in thailand and yogurt too zero fat many flavors they are so tasty if you want to try them this is 
four pack only 47 baht on strawberry this is one of the famous section the noodles in Thailand if you love pre-packed noodles instant noodles you have cheap you have you have lots of flavors and prices are so cheap this whole pack which contains 12 pieces only 47 baht so imagine how much each one is lots of flavors lots of types but read before you buy because there are flavors are so so spicy that you cannot eat so always check what you are buying especially noodles because as I said there are lots of types that are so super spicy you cannot eat it unless you love to eat super spicy now if you come to the sauces in Thailand then don't ask me you have more than five to six hundred types flavors sweet sour spicy and the prices are from 25 till 50 baht sometimes 60 and depending on what you like to put while you are cooking and most of them are for Thai food cookings so if you are good in Thai food cooking the spices and the sauces are from 48 to 39 baht but I usually love to buy my Thai food from outside I don't cook I do simple things I don't have time for that but I'm giving you an idea about the types and the prices I hope the pictures are clear now let's move on from the noodles and spices sauces to another section and here we have the coffee section this is one of my favorite Nescafe Gold Crema Intense and if you want three in one also available international brands and also the local brands but if you like good ones like this it's 300 but from Colombia Arabica blend but as I said this is my favorite Nescafe gold crema 149 baht and it goes around one month with you so it's so affordable and if you want the regular ones three in one they start from 80 baht but I tell you if you are in Thailand you have lots of options of coffees and teas why to buy the three in one check some new flavors and there are lots of them you will love it okay that was the coffee section and this is the soda section there are crazy flavors besides the regular ones like coca-cola pepsi fanta on pineapple on strawberry of course you have seen lots of vlogs about this look at this flavor i don't know what is it but it's pinky so if you love to try new things on apple pineapple you can see from the pictures soda mixed with flavors this is thailand and you can find anything in this market concerning the chocolates and all this sugary stuff you can find a uh, lot of options here more than 7-elevens because in 7-eleven usually you can find small portions but here you can find things like big portions if you like to buy chocolate in packs you can find in the supermarkets and not in 7-elevens that's also another difference between the 7-elevens and this big market so let's buy some chocolates and continue our today's shopping these are dehydrated dried mango even tomato i don't know who likes it strawberries preserved plum my god you have things that you cannot find it anywhere this is dates 
so you can find dates in Thailand too, no worries, lots of people love dates and it's available in Thailand. Dried mixed berries, this is alongside the chocolates, so welcome to my favorite section. This is the drink section, if you love to buy drinks also guys, wines, whiskies, any spirit, it's available in this market, the prices from 3 to 1000 baht depending on what you're buying like this Jameson like this whiskey 1099 baht depending on what you like or you can buy a pack of Cheng 99 baht 91 baht now guys if you are thinking this market is only food you have everything you need you can see from the pictures that these are stuff for your kitchen so if you are new here you want to buy your home stuff also available in this market you have almost anything you need to cook now I'm going to the detergent section I'm going to buy some stuff for cleaning and you're gonna have an idea about the prices depending on your budget you can find anything here so no worries you can buy cheap stuff, affordable stuff, and even very expensive and good stuff. We're gonna choose something for our washing machine with nice smell. Let's check. A lot of options, sometimes you get lost what to buy. But if you try something and you like it, go for it. Don't waste your time looking around because there are lots of options for anything you want to buy in this market. Well guys, also you have to bring with you a bag or you will buy one here. So today I didn't forget to bring my bag with me so that I can put my stuff inside. So keep that also in mind while you are shopping in big supermarkets. I have lots of stuff in my hand and almost tired because it's so hot but today's vlog is very informative for you if you want to shop in Bangkok these are the places that you can shop and get affordable prices and you can find almost everything all in all I have spent less than 1000 baht exactly 890 baht to buy all this stuff and along the way you saw everything we bought so this was a general idea if you are going to stay in Bangkok I hope you enjoyed this vlog and had an idea about the prices and if you are in Bangkok you can check it by yourself thank you for watching stay tuned and subscribe for more from Live Love Thailand